Hi, I'm going to show you how to play Me and My Friend Time by Ben Howard. The tuning for this, without capo first of all, is D sharp or E flat for the sixth string, and then G for the fifth string, and then B flat for your fourth string, F, G, and then C. And then you put your cap on the second fret. And then when you when you check it on your chromatic tuner, the notes will now, or they should now read as F A C G A A, definitely A, a bit flat, but A. And D. Right, so once you've got that uh, that set up, then uh, then we're good to go. Okay. So the the opening introduction. That first two bars. Starting with my middle and my ring finger on the fifth fret above capo on the fourth and fifth strings. And the the picking pattern, you start with your thumb on the fifth string, and you need your first, second, and third finger, your first middle and ring finger, ready on strings four, three, and two. Because you're basically gonna do a finger roll. So it's thumb one, two, three. Thumb one, two, three. Okay, so thumb, one, two, three, thumb, three, one, strum. Thumb, one, two, three, thumb, three, one, strum. Okay, uh, so that's thumb, index, middle, ring, thumb, three, one, so ring, first, strum. This time you're going to put your first finger on the second string, third fret, after you've after you've done the finger roll, so thumb one two three thumb three two strum. So put those two together. And then we're whizzing up to the two, four, six, eight, ninth fret. And it's middle and ring fingers on the third and fourth strings. And the uh, the next section is like this. Thumb, pair, strum, thumb, three, one, strum. Thumb, pair, strum, thumb. Three, one, strong. So that's finger three, finger one on strings one and three, just to confuse you. And then the, the second half of, of these two bars, uh, there's, there's quite a few variations that you can do. So I'll show you a simple one to start with. Thumb, one, two, strum, thumb. And then you're gonna do two, pluck with the second finger on the seventh fret, and it's a pull off. And then open strum, and that takes you back to the original two bar opening riff position. So an alternate little pattern there. Okay, so thumb, pull off on the seventh fret to the first fret on your index finger, first string. And then pull off little finger, 10th fret, second string. And then again, first finger, seventh fret, 
pull off. The tab will contain some variations and they might not be identical to what I've, I've played there but it's important for later on that you, that you note the usefulness of these These, these positions with your first and little finger. Because that will come in again at the end with the, the rather rhythmic sort of flourishing section where the song finishes. All right, so after you've been around this, this riff umpteen times, this, this takes you through the verse as well, this... this um pattern you, you take right the way through the uh, wonder why uh, wonder why you came here tonight all the way through um, to the, the little transition stage which which takes you into the chorus so as you're coming out of then we're going to put ring finger on the seventh fret fourth string and index finger on the fifth fret third string for that position and it's thumb one two, thumb two, thumb one two, thumb one two, thumb two, thumb one two. And that's on strings six, four and three. So that pattern's used to join together the, the verse and the, the chorus section. And then we're into the into the chorus. So put your middle finger on the fifth fret, third string, and I'm I'm plucking thumb one two thumb three thumb one two thumb one two thumb three thumb one two. This is a fairly standard pattern that Ben uses quite a lot in Gracious, Promise, all sorts of songs that crops up. Thumb, one, two, thumb, three. That third finger is plucking the first string. And then you can reach up either with your middle finger, not your middle finger, your ring finger, or your little finger. And I think, I think when Ben does it, I've, I've seen one video of him performing this. It looks like it was shot six, five or six years ago in some cafe in France somewhere on somebody's mobile phone and they were rather busy pointing the phone at Ben's face, not his fingers, which was not really helpful. Um, but I, I did catch a glimpse of the little finger going on to the, the seventh fret, sixth string there. So we're doing thumb, one, two, thumb, three, thumb, one, two, and that strings six, four, three, and one again. Then it's the same plucking pattern with the right hand, but you're going to take your little finger off, put your first finger on to the fifth fret on the fourth string. And then you go around that as you're singing, um, Oh, but you'll, you'll be gone just as soon as the water rises. So just slowly. Okay, and um, the first time you finish the chorus, Then it's basically a slap and then you're straight back into and uh, round and round you go through the second verse um, night night echo in the night bridging section again and then the chorus parts exactly the same So we've done that bit and whizzed through there. But as you come out of the chorus for the second time, there's this, um, oh, but I'll, I'll be okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. 
uh, Darling I'll Be Alright section. And that's done up on the 9th fret. And if you put on fingers uh, middle, ring, onto the 9th fret on the strings 4 and 3, put your little finger on the 10th fret. And you can either do thumb 1, 2, thumb 3, thumb 1, 2. That rather familiar pattern there. But, uh, but listening harder, I'm not sure, he might be playing thumb 3, 2, 1, thumb 3, 2, 1, thumb 3, 2, 1, thumb 3, 2, 1. And then you don't change your hand position at all, you just change your bass note with your thumb to the 6th string. So... Or alternatively... If you want, you can actually lift that little finger off there, and that's, that sounds quite good, good as well. If you sort of build it up as you go into the, the next bit. So you sort of, um, uh, um, yeah, darling, I'll be alright. Little finger off. So that last time, thumb one, two, thumb three, two, strum. And then you're down to this next position. It's actually the same fingering that you do for the chorus, but it's quick. So your, your positioning previously was... So middle finger, fifth fret, third string. And then that second um, bit was your little finger on the seventh fret, sixth string. And then the third bit was... But the, the picking pattern is, is more pick and go and it's, it's much more violent. In some cases you're actually trying to really bounce the, the bass strings off the fretboard to get that really twangy... Okay, so I'll take you through the pattern for that. Right, are we ready? Thumb, one, two, slap. Thumb, one, two, slap. And then little finger on. Thumb, one, two, slap. And one and two are on strings four and three for this. And then again, little finger off, first finger on, fourth string, fifth fret. Okay, thumb, one, two, slap. Thumb, three, one, slap. And I, th I think sometimes I might actually be doing um, two and three together just to get a bit more... Uh, a bit more sound and fill out the the notes a bit. So you could you could do thumb one, two and three together slap. Thumb one, two and three together slap. Thumb one, two and three together slap. Thumb three one slap. And then it's just a case of speeding that up and getting the rhythm. I think on that bit actually I'm doing thumb and all three strings together, sort of syncopated. Okay, pull, pull, slap, thumb, three, one, slap. And I'm actually, when I'm doing the slap as well, I'm, I'm actually using my sleeve here just to dampen the strings to, to create that brief silence between the next, the next little cycle of notes there. And that, that just helps create the, the, the drama with the... Me and my friend time Yeah, we're having the time of our life Me and my friend time Yeah, we go out and we get drunk Something or other, whatever they're doing. Uh, yeah, so they go out and get drunk and get wasted and uh, get get ourselves some, yeah? So, um, we go out, we get ourselves some. We go out, we get ourselves some. And then, next bit after here, you've got a brief improvised section 
where it's not actually about the guitar. Um, Ben's sort of filling in the background, just picking and going through the chords to give uh, the lovely India a chance to do something with her cello. So she's sort of soloing over the top. And uh, what I found works quite well is the following positions. So I'm, I'm just sort of doing a pick and go pattern that I'm um, improvising on, on this basic position with middle and ring finger on the ninth fret on the fourth and third string. So it's one, thumb one, two, strum, thumb three, one, strum, thumb one, two, strum, thumb three, one, strum. It's, it's fairly standard pick and go. Have a look at my other tutorials about the, the pick and go technique. But that, that style of playing crops up all over the place. Um, it's in the solo sections of uh, End of the Affair. It's used in... Um, it's used in the burn a lot. Yeah, it's all over the place. And then this next position, I put my thumb onto the bass, the sixth string, seventh fret, and leave my ring finger on the ninth fret, third string. Thumb, one and two, strum, thumb, three, one, strum, thumb, thumb, one and two, strum, thumb, pull off from seven to zero. Alternatively, um, or you can go to that, that note up there earlier. And then the third position is I'm putting my ring finger on the fourth string ninth fret and my index finger on the third string seventh fret. I think I go around that a couple of times. And then we're back to that opening riff. different. I don't think that's exactly the same as Ben plays it. From what I can pick up on the on the audio from this, that definitely sounds like he's sliding up to this position. So he, he might actually be doing the... Um, um, he might be sort of doing something down here. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I did when I did my cover of it, which is, um, okay, so thumb, pick, thumb, pick, thumb, pick, strum, thumb, three, one, strum, thumb, pick, thumb, pick, thumb, pick, strum, thumb, three, one, strum. And then up to the ninth fret. So it's a it's a thumb finger roll thumb one pick slap pick slap pick slap thumb pull off slap. I'll try and slay all that again. <laughs> thumb finger roll thumb one pick slap pick slap pick slap thumb pull off slap. Thumb finger roll thumb one pick slap pick slap pick slap thumb pull off slap. So the, the, the pull-offs I'm doing there, or the, or the picks between the slaps, mm -hmm. and then the first pick and, and pull-off is on the seventh fret first string and open second string. Okay, so pull, slap. Change your index finger on the first string for your little finger on the tenth fret, second string. Remember those positions from that first bit of the riff? Slap, and then first finger on the seventh fret, second string. Thumb, pull off, slap. Mm -hmm. 
and you sort of do that twice and again you can invent your own variations there just just play around with that first little finger it's almost like a pentatonic scale really and and just see what works so go around twice and then again just to finish you're into that bridging section I think I threw in a cheeky little third finger over each there. And put the bass, the fifth string open just to finish. That's pretty much it really. It's, as I say, the hard bit, the hard bit was cracking the tuning. And once I had the, the tuning cracked and just kind of played around with it a bit really then, uh, I feel like I got a workable pattern there. It's it's probably not exactly what Ben's playing, but as as I've said before on, on my other tutorials and my other covers, possibly, I'm not looking to necessarily exactly replicate. Quite often, I I find that in in the process of going through trying to get the patterns and the feel for it, quite often you might discover something else which works and sounds equally nice and. Uh, maybe it's something uh, you can take away and use for your own composition. Uh, certainly what I'm trying to do uh, with with um, with trying to write my own stuff. It's I keep mentioning it, it's coming, it's a work in progress. Anyway, if you like what you've seen, as usual, click like, click subscribe, leave me a comment. I do try and reply to everybody, although to be honest, the comments are coming pretty thick and fast at the moment. We are approaching the 300 subscriber mark. Exciting times. Thank you, everybody. And um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.